TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. We have to leave this platform alone because it was created for, for a satanic. It was created to take away the souls who are on the front. So as long as you are on the front, there are so many souls which have been taken and people don't even talk about. I am a spiritualist. I also deal with the spiritual knowledge and uh, herbal treatment and physical spiritual solution of any problem. Yeah. When you have this uh, spiritual problem, physical problems, so I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an herbalist. Yeah. Kuna mengi sana yamefanyika kwenye hii nchi yetu ya Kenya. Wewe kama mjuzi wa mambo ya spirits, labda una yapi ya comment kuhusu vifo vya vijana? Vijana wanakufa sana sana. Juzi tumeona brand Chira ameweza kufariki. Mm, mm, kuna tatizo saa hizi na hii kijana hii vijana rika yetu. Also the youths. So there's a lot of problem going on with the youths. The youths are dying and uh, it's just because of lack of so many things uh, that's why these things are happening and uh, creating awareness so that we can stop this killing of youths or early death of these youth there must be some things we have to do and these people must be uh, educated they must be given this knowledge for them for this problem not to continue like this like the issue, the issue of branchera uh, branch here, I think uh, I had talked about that uh, last time. Uh, his death actually uh, was predicted by him and by also other friends whom they were communicated with, communicating with. And uh, he never welcomed all these messages which he was being given on, uh, on those platforms and the rest of the messages he was receiving through dreams. And uh, in fact, I, I had there's a time he was in, being interviewed. He was talking about he dreamt about his own death, and what was the the, the take on that? Because dreams are actually in Akwanga the the future, present and past life of your own. So if you meet certain things like that, there must be a way of you to stop this, because when you dream about death. Uh, is it a two thing? Is that transformation of your new life, or it can be real, the death real? Because uh, the dream will only show you, the spirit will show you what is uh, the spirit is going through. Now, when he's dead, is uh, the spirit will reflect itself through dream, your one into your physical life. Now, by the time this guy dreamt this, he never did anything about that. By the time Nyakwarjaneko. This guy Nyakwadianeko told him that when when he don't stop drinking alcohol and taking his medication, he's going to die and he's going she's going to come to his burial and bury him. And people were laughing. People were some of them were uh, annoyed with the conversation. But that was a message. Though I can say the message was uh, delivered in a wrong platform. Because that is a wrong platform, actually, because uh, TikTok actually is a satanic platform. So, you know, you know, we as young people, we don't listen. And we should listen each and every message people telling us. And uh, each and every person talking to us, they have a message. Right? Last time there, is this, uh, there was a message uh, was being given to Chira. Uh, I can say Nyakwar Janeko for the first one person, Nyakwar Janeko, this lady talked to him directly. And he, he told, she told him that if you don't stop the alcohol, and if you don't, if you stop, if you don't continue with your medication, you're going to die. And I will come for your burial. And I will come for your burial. This message was a live message to him. But he never listened because he, he, I don't know if he took it uh, like a joke or like an insult and uh, maybe the audience who were seeing these things they were seeing it as if it was an insult but she would mean the message because she was to deliver the message she had no problem even Saizi now and scare people are saying if she goes there they're going to beat him or they're going to kill her 
no, because uh, she talked about the death of and it happens. No, this lady was just a vessel. She was used to deliver the message to Chira to stop all this thing. What has killed Chira is alcohol. First, alcohol has caused him to that accident because she was he was drunk. That's why maybe she, he got the accident. Suppose he, he did not go that party, he could have not died into that accident. So the, the, this message, he was not taking them in a serious way. Now, the last time Nyako also talked about the same, same alcohol. In fact, this period, uh, this guy detected his death because he, he, was, he started looking uh, moody. In fact, the other day, that day, Nyako, Nyako, Nyako was talking to him. He, he was like dead already, spiritually died, dead. So he was looking like, alikuwa menyowa nyuele yote, yenye ni very rare sana chira kuange, wana penanga kupiga cut. And he was chiku alikuwa menyowa nyuele plain, and he was looking old, like amekuwa mgonja for a long time. Ali alambambio endu meze dawa and hotel stop this way. So spiritual depression ya hiyo kwamba ni kama alikuwa na prepare kukufa. Kukufa. And that's why you will see his journey the last two months he was uh, asking for forgiveness to so many people. That's a sign of somebody who wants to live. And uh, this thing, if you're not very careful, uh, you can turn your death. That's why you see some that in ancient time, these people, the, these bad people or rich people, they don't die. When they start detecting like that, they go and do the sacrifice. They turn their death to somebody else. So there's a way you can change that. To know so that you don't, you give that spirit what they want, then the spirit will leave you alone for you to live long. So this guy did not get any advice from anybody because uh, he has reached a point of uh, like the finishing point. He was depressed. He wanted to live a good life, but uh, he, he, he couldn't manage that life because he was not contented with what he had. He wanted more. And more he cannot deliver to get. Now, with the youths we are in, we should be contented with what we have. We should be satisfied with the little we have so that you can make more. Don't get, be here in a life you cannot. Because this life, when these TikTokers start splashing you with the, this kind of gift, uh, some people will give you lion like uh, 40,000 and the universal. I don't know, it's a half a million. Do you think somebody just can just give you money without you working for that person? Can you think? Because if you don't work, for, if you don't work, even spirituality, there's nothing for free. I cannot give you something for free. The knowledge I'm giving is for free. But there's something I gain, I'm gaining out of this. People just don't know. If I take, talk, there's something I might gain from this. But when somebody wants to help you spiritually, it's not for free. You have to pay. Spirituality is not for free. So what is the physical? Can somebody just physically give you something you, do, you have not worked for? Because you are just talking and entertaining. No. We have to think about that. These people flushing these people with a lot of money. That the people taking their souls and taking their spirit away. So if you're not careful on this, eh, there are so many souls they are going to take. Look the Baba Mona. Look who uh, Jam Jengo. I don't know, somebody also was there who was also on a, a limelight. Somebody, Kolo, Kolo, the, this is the Nini, the supporter of Prince Inter. And uh, the problem here comes here. The last time I talked about Baba Mona's death and uh, how it, it happens, actually, and that one was different uh, and a little bit different with this one. The, the one for Chira is through mouth. Because people were talking about his death always. You are going to die. Stop this one. Or die. So what has made that thing to be fulfilled is that there's some spirits which are moving around. When they listen to the words you are saying, they will pick that word and make it into action. So that's why I'm telling you, you have to be very cautious with whatever you're telling, to, you're telling or you're saying to some people. Because you might be called a witch or might happen to them because but the words you said has been fulfilled with that spirit that spirit of destruction when they listen to you 
I'm going to kill you. Actually, you're going to die. You might die. If your spirit is you not know, strong or you have made a mistake somewhere, that spirit will uh, accomplish the mission. And that's the same, same problem we'll get into the real life when somebody is annoyed and is like, I nearly end up to blank. See, I don't know what happened. And I don't know what happened. Because you, you regret this after doing it. Because you cannot say, I'm going to kill. And you're not ready to do that. If you say, I'm going to kill you, and unfortunately you do that, because that spirit will take your hands and make you do that action. That's why you see, after killing somebody, these people are regretting. After they have now become sober, they start to get, no, there are spirit that has made that thing to happen. It's not them. So the spirit comes into your body and you take over or conquer or dominate your body, then make this thing to action. So after dominating, the, the spirit will cover your face. You won't see the action. So the action you will see, I went black. I just saw black. That's most of the things happening because they're happening out of unconsciousness. So if we are not conscious every time, we become unconscious because the, 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 this lack of the knowledge of consciousness will lead ourselves into actions which are dangerous and unspiritual also. So these things, oh, let me talk about the TikTok. TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. We have to leave this platform alone because it was created for, for a satanic it was created to take away the souls who are on the front. So as long as you are on the front, there are so many souls which have been taken and people don't even talk about. There are certain families who are in those TikToks. They are going to through. They have been sacrificed. They have, they have sacrificed their family and they don't know. They just get problem after. If you receive this money, this money create more problem into your life. Maybe you are your child... Either you are your mother, your father. They're going to deal with that. And we are not very keen on to knowing that. The same, same money I consume or I receive through TikTok is the same money that want, they want it in return through blood or through soul. So somebody, if somebody just watering you or, fl- or flirting you with a lot of money and you have done nothing, you have to be very careful. You see Nyako now, Nyako is a little bit, I don't know, he's, he, she's suffering also with a lot of diseases. And uh, she also said that she go, she's going to die. Unfortunately, that mouth might lead her to death if she has not changed the mouth because that, the words she has said will be used with that spirit of destruction and some of the enemies she, who are around her will make that word to be fulfilled and make you, if you want to live, you should say that I want to live. Whatever energy you have, whatever energy you say, will reflect into the physical life. When you live a life of fear, the fear will just follow you always, always. When you live a life of, of, of a strength and power, that power will follow you. Nothing can be uh, manipulate any of your spirit. So let me advise Nyako not to stop, to remove or withdraw the statement she said about herself. Because if she really wants to live, let her make that wish to happen. And if she really wants to die, let it be so. She won't even make it for three months if that is what she wants. But she should withdraw the statement. She say, somebody's death is not your death. People are different. You don't know the, the mission they were. And make you, I said, when you die at a younger age, you are going nowhere, whether you're born again or you are not born again. So if you cut your life, whether somebody has cut your own life at a younger age, you are going nowhere. In a spiritual world, we as human beings, we have to live with the time you are set to live. Depends on the destiny time you are given. So if you, are, you cut short your destiny time, you are not going anywhere. Even that heaven you are talking about does not even exist. 
in a spiritual world. I talk about the spirituality. I don't talk about the, 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 the Christianity. Christianity is another sort of self. There's, a, there's a, a, an organization. And the spirituality, actually, these things normally say that when you die at the right time, you go to the spiritual uh, realm or the spiritual places, then there's a circle you make, you come back to life again. You have to finish what you, 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 you did not accomplish when you are living here. So when you die at a, at a younger age, where do you go? That's where they live. There's a place, the astral, what do you call the astrology or astral places? They, they, there's a stages of the places of life. You will see there's a, a verse, Jesus said that, in my father's house, there are so many mansions. Think about that. How can a mansion be in a house? Okay, that's a story for another day. When you say there's so many mansions, eh? in my house there's so many mansions. So in this physical body, in this physical body, or in our body, there are so many houses. So we have the mirror body, we have the shadow body, we have the, 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 the what we call uh, the astral, the etheric body, the etheric, we deal with the mind. These are all, all world we are living in. So when you turn yourself and start living in an imagination world, so that is the etheric world, you start, whatever you imagine will reflect itself to the physical body. So whatever the Nyako imagines, eh, that he, he, she is going to die, will reflect and manifest itself in the physical world. And that should be, you know, when we live in the imagination world, in the etheric world, we create things in a blueprint on that etheric world. So whatever we have, the blueprint we have, been, we have made on the etheric world is what will reflect in the physical world. Even if somebody wants to build something, all these houses, they start with the imagination, no? then they blueprint it, put it down on the paper. So imagination is the world that we are living in, and we create this imagination, the physical bodies, the physical world, is when now it moves to actions. So now when you just think everything in a negative way, like I want to die, I want to, I'm, I'm losing hope in life. When you do that, you are creating that imagination to reality. We have to stop this and we live into straight life. Now, this person, uh, you will live when Chira did not accomplish, if he was to die at 50s or 60s, and maybe he has, he has died at 20s, he's going nowhere. The rest of uh, 30 years or 40 years, he will live here on earth. And it will cause more trouble in that place he had the accident. And it will cause more trouble in that TikTok. Be watchful to the close, close friends of him. They will also feel his energy affecting them. The likes of Jude Magam. Yeah, the likes of this uh, Manzi, what, whatever. The, 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 also the other lady. Have you ever accounted yourself somebody when a friend dies, the other friend follows him? They also die. So when they are not careful, they don't cleanse themselves into this uh, sacrifice, death. They will also follow the route. Now, they also another advice maybe I would love to say, that place Chira died, please, when they are removing that Chira, I don't know when, when will he be buried, or he has been buried already. No, no. Okay. So by the time they will remove that Chira from Muchari, they only took the body of Chira to the mog. They left the soul and the spirit there. So the soul, the spirit is on, on that soul. Spirit doesn't die. They will live, they live eternally. So they change this a transformation. They transform themselves to another body, another body. So spirit transform itself to another body, another body, then come back again to life. Now, that place, he died. They must take the body to that place and summon his spirit to get into that coffin. They take the spirit back to his place of burial. If they don't do that, there will be more accident to that place. And this is not, not just a, a, a mere talk. For those who know, they know. Even that, I think the tribe of lawyers know how to do that. The lawyer people know, they do, they do obey that rule. They come after some time, they pick the spirit from that place because the only the body is in the mutuary. The spirit, no spirit. Is. the spirit is in that where you know when this these people this body is departs 
like when somebody is sleeping and somebody wakes you up knowing you will start like you are you are you are you are trembling or you are you are on a, as if you are running somewhere the spirit has come back as the tech when this when you are sleeping the spirit travels to a certain place now when you tap the body the spirit detects the body has been interfered with the then spirit come back to the body it be, it's come back in a, a very high speed now when somebody dies when the death occur in that place there is a, a commotion happens and these people are being separated forcefully so the body and the soul and the, and the, the soul that carries the spirit is uh, has been separated so this, they are looking for each other until the summon of these people to be remarried again together they must remarry these things the body and the soul together is when now the spirit will see his place you know the place of burial is like you're planting that place it's like you're going to plant when you plant a plant without a seed it won't grow so you have to bring the, that seed is the spirit when you plant into that coffin or in that 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 uh, ground you're going is going to be married it's going to be buried that is a place that's a living place of that physical body so they will always come and visit their place eh? their houses they will always come and visit their houses so when they go when if they are in the astral places before moving those ones that they, they turn to be ghost so ghost are waiting those are the spirit that are waiting to go to the spiritual world they did not die in a proper time so they turn to be ghost that's why when they the, the time reach they will move that's why if you find some places uh, there was a ghost and when it is certain period of time this the, that place is no more the, that ghost is not more but when you leave that place the, the ghost will continue causing more accident for, because the ghost need more people more blood for them to sustain themselves in that spiritual place now they all even they even come and sleep with the women and men those are the ghosts which will, they will come to sleep with you at night the sex gives them energy to sustain themselves in the astral world you see that's why they will come and in, interfere they most of them also come and eat in those places you see so so that's a lot is happening in the spiritual world but we don't we just assume so if these things has not been done properly he will come to disturb even the parents he will come to disturb even the 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 the, 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 the friends because he has not died in a proper death we have had an issue with the, the grandfather the grandfather is refused he, uh, his body to be laid to rest at the original home so do you think it will also haunt the grandfather yeah he will haunt ah he chira was a stubborn guy he was very stubborn physically so do you think if he was stubborn physically and he has not been put to rest he won't rest he won't rest and he will continue disturbing that grandfather if the grandfather knows that will follow him the grandfather will die because this guy is not just a normal a cool guy he wasn't cool he was very stubborn when somebody died let him die and let him rest in peace whether he was who he was disturbing let chira just rest in peace because he has now departed his self is now not with the physical so when now he's died when he's died already he has died already now i think he should be given just peaceful send off whether he was that he was having a grudge with so and so whether he was no that is that doesn't apply because he will never die, never come back again to live with you normal ways maybe later on he will come back and you, nobody will notice is the chira there is an issue with the the contribution right now it has surpassed 7.3 million and she was suffering sometimes she was kicked out of the house people love dead people <laughs> we love dead people more than when you are in the physical so he's going to eat that money nobody nobody who is going to feed because when shira was requesting even a money for alcohol he couldn't get I think he, he, he was being supported by Nyako before he, he, he destroyed the friendship and Nyako really participated a lot on contribution I mean and uh, the rest of the guys were telling him the truth but Chira was on a depression stage and uh, the mind was 
he was possessed. Eh? I think there was a possession of so many spirits because there was a spirit of, 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 of the other one, the, 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 the Geizum spirit that has possessed his mind and there was also a spirit of sickness that has also possessed his mind. So this guy was not looking himself like he should live because all this he got through pain because I heard that he was molested. Eh? Oh, yeah. yeah, and it wasn't his intention. So I had people judging him wrongly, but you have to see the sides of life, uh, both sides of life. If you, you got this thing willingly and if you got this, this thing forcefully, but I think he got this thing forcefully. And that's why it was painful for him. Even if he was trying to make it in life, but nobody was so close to him to advise him and to make him realize the real life. That even if this thing happens to you, you can even change your life and to live in a normal way. It is not the, the, the end of life, everything. You know, those who are into the homosexualities, they want to live this thing. Uh, they think uh, it is the end of everything. But getting out of that position is not even that difficult. I think some of the people have get out of that if they don't want. Because that is a spirit. You have to divorce with that spirit for you to believe in a normal life. Because that spirit is a very dangerous spirit. We now lead you to death. You only see that there's just life for enjoyment and everything. You, nothing else you can see. That you see, no, this, this is a block and my life is no more. Even those who have contracted certain diseases, you see, no, that does why I get healed onto this disease. Or you can manage yourself from this. It is not the end of everything because life must continue. How many people have lived with this thing, with this uh, HIV and AIDS for so many years? Very many years. No, it only that Chira did not got anybody who is so close to him to give him uh, that advice and to change the ethnic thinking of this guy to make him think that there is life. Even if all this, the people are living with even 10, more than 10 diseases onto them. The people who have, they have told these people that you are not going to even to reach uh, next year. This disease will only take you two years and you die. And they have lived more than that because they have overcome the, 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 the words people are saying. You know, this life is only with God. Nobody knows your life. So nobody can tell you that when you get this, you are no more. No. When you get into this, this thing, no. You have to change the mind, the way you think. Most people are just going through a lot of things. You might think they're suffering of witchcraft. And it's not witchcraft. It's just the mentality, how they, they, their mind works. They have just put their mind in a situation whereby they cannot think outside that box. That there's some things also outside, which is not only this inside. Because now, any situation in life, if you don't change your mind, mentality, when you don't change your mind, just kidogo and you make you move on with that life. There is life even after that. You can change your life and live a straight life and live and get married and continue with your life. It's not the end of anything. Yeah. You've talked of uh, TikTok being evil, um, that um, maybe it's full of evil people. What about other, other social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all these people, all, there are people who are living in those platforms. They are staying in that platform. They are looking for those who are, you know, no, they got attacked. Everybody, as so long as you, 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 you are in a certain position whereby people can follow you. You have to be the people who will just attack you in any way. Even in this our teaching, uh, people are just attack us several times because uh, we try to enlighten people. We try to wake up people. We try to free people in a, in a, a certain bondage. And uh, there's nothing wrong we are doing. And these people, we are not even close to them. Uh, they're not even our family members. They only enjoy when you are suffering. And they also enjoy when they are using you as a sacrifice because they are all over the platform. Also in TikTok is the above platform out of the, you know, people are on the TikTok more than all the, this other platform. Now that is where they are dwelling in. They are looking for these people in that places. So 
the only things that she, I, last time I saw, and I really wanted to this lady, there's a talk I talk about, uh, the Nyara, I don't know, uh, Augo's wife, eh? this uh, musician who lost her wife, eh? his wife, eh? uh, during the time of delivery. I don't know if you heard about that. And somebody told the lady that you won't make it. When you go to deliver, you won't make it. And this lady, I cannot say she did anything to this lady. No, it was the mouth, the words, the power of the, the, tongue. Power of the tongue. And the power of the tongue was f- fulfilled with that spirit of destruction. And this lady, actually, when you see the past two, lives, two months of her life, she was exposing everything in his house. So if you're going well, do you think even if you're not on the TikTok, do you think you can't have enemies? Even the friends who laugh with you, not all people who laugh with you loves you. No. Nobody likes anybody's progress. And the energy of jealousy is a very strong energy. can destroy everything. So don't set up your plan to anybody. Don't tell anybody your plan before you know how to protect it. Because you, you might end up not doing it. Because uh, these tongues and these spirits, they don't need any progress to anybody. So there are so many things happening. Some of them are jealousy on this TikTok. Some of them even the witchcraft, depending on where you are coming from. When you see, they see you on TikTok, on this platform, they think that you have a lot of money. Those who are seeing Chira on the platform, they thought that this guy has a lot of money. Because his face was all over. Like now... <laughs> People know Chira, every, almost everybody who is on the TikTok, on the internet knows Chira. So they think that uh, he has a lot of money. No, that is where people mistake. Uh-huh. So that people, when the life of like Jamjengo, or when these people see you back there at the village and they start seeing some of the trending videos you have, they will think that you are gaining a lot of money. And the jealousy, the power of that jealousy, the energy they are creating into bewitching you with all this, eh, will make you not to survive. If you don't protect yourself from this, nobody, I cannot say nobody, so long as you are stepping on the stairs, eh, you have made one step, two step, third step, you will receive enemies within you. And uh, nobody who is above can say, tell me that he doesn't or she doesn't have enemy. They are when the pastors have enemies are there. Are there. Even Ezekiel has his own enemies. So only how can you overcome them? It's just the power of denial. Anything. You deny anything they are doing to you. And you also don't excrete energy of jealousy or replying to them. Look away of protecting yourself and leave them. When you use energy of fighting these enemies, you are going to lose in the morning. No. Whatever somebody is saying or doing to you, just protect yourself and move on with your life. Whatever somebody or people are getting annoyed in this platform or somebody is so and so and so I'm getting depressed because of people are my followers are doing for me this, are bullying me to do this and doing this. You know, stress, uh, this uh, TikTok and the platform has, has stressed so many guys in this kind. And they really want you to live a life they want. And you don't live a life you want. So as long as you start living a life they want, you're going to be depressed. Don't live a life for pleasing anybody. Stay where you can belong and stay where you are, you are comfortable with. So that you don't live just a place, eh? you feel you're comfortable. Don't, Ukisoke Apa, you want to go to Runda or, and you are living in Madari because you, you are now gaining more followers in TikTok. So you have to live that life. No, people have ambition, no problem. But you can't just start. You have to make a little bit step by step for you to reach there. Live a place where you are comfortable. Stop getting a dream because my friends have cars. Let me also buy a car. And you, don't, you won't fuel your car. My friend, you have to live in, a where, where, in an area whereby you are very free, comfortable. Don't leave these social media uh, pressures. Eh? Like they want you to leave, you, you put on. You know, people are going even uh, when I end up to hire clothes. Uh, when I end up to hire magaris for sure. 
when they coming back to those village wana haya magari sio ngapi wakirudi huko nyumbani wanaolewa kwa barabara because you are creating yourself a life you don't belong and this the people who take that thing is as serious that those who when you see that you say i have so many plots somewhere it's not bad but don't say if you don't have because you are cloud chasing you will be killed for no reason these people will kill you for no reason or they will they just tamper with the all, all your financial issues eh? I tell you problem I bought this car if you buy something don't show it to the in the platform if you show it what will what will they gain will they hear you more because that is your own that you should keep it as a secret so if you start exposing oh I bought uh, a, a fridge today you want to show off the people who are, when they hit uh, nyama when they are cooking fish they are showing today I'm cooking fish uh, this my fridge is full of these fruits that's what maybe I was wife was doing I was so do you think that those who doesn't want that guy do you think that those who want you are the same life you are living with that guy even the, the excess of that guy all those who are crashing to that guy will even kill you for you to give them space do you think is now ajapata mwingine na yeye pia asipomaliza let me advise him yeye pia asipomaliza the the spiritual conditions he will not go he will never marry again or he will marry and die so if he marries another wife will die he has to follow asikwe na rakaraka ya ku hii pressure ya hii la social media ya kiwani lazima ange follow ile protocol vizuri amalize a separate himself with that spirit who is died now is when ile spirit itamwalao ku wa mwingine asipofanya hivyo ule atakuwa na lilala na ile spirit ama hao wanawake atakuwa nayo atamwacha because bado akana meao ule menya mekufa so this is the mistake we normally do umeaisikia mtu amezika wanawake karibu tatu because of what that first spirit is killing the rest of the wives so kuna places ngine ukiingia una feel that there's somebody living here and this guy is just live along or this lady is live a lot there's a spirit he is living or she is living with another spirit inside that house when you are make satisfied a whole speech they are normally jealous and if you try to mess up with them without negotiating with them they may they you might end up killing you or they you will be chased away from that or they will in create introduce sickness in you wewe unakwanga tu mgonjwa ukikuja kulala kukaa na bwanako ama ukikana mama na na babi yako na ukirudi mkiseparate you are just okay lakini akirudi kwa nyumba ni mgonjwa mgonjwa yeye hata hawezi hawezi lale ama unapata mwingine akikaa na bibi yake yeye ana anatend every day from monday to monday anatend they cannot make any love in that house so this are spirit you have to see and these spirits are bringing divorce and separation into these houses because of not completing certain things yeah so maybe for those who want more teachings as we finish you can maybe say your contact so that they can reach you directly yeah So my contact is 0757 10 1225. I know people really wants more teaching and have requested more and but I'm preparing for that uh, due to time and so many issues. And now 0757 10 1225 you can WhatsApp me and uh, call me directly. And I also thank so much for those have attended to them and uh, most of them at least have received uh, some of the healing and some of the deliverance they wa- wanted to get and i appreciate so much and uh, i also welcome those who have not even understand uh, the language i'm speaking i call them the baby christians they normally comment good things in those places i also enjoy reading them there's no problem you are allowed to do so because that is your own opinion uh, but sometimes they get to know uh, they don't listen they only pick things a uh, quiet line they don't listen to the topic that's why they always mess up with the, uh, bringing for me the blood of jesus and so many things <laughs> because uh, the, those blood of jesus cannot work on me <laughs> I have my own to deal with. So your blood of Jesus is yours. I also appreciate on that and I also respect that. 
we have to in this world we have to respect each and every kingdom and and you have to respect each and every principalities and you have to respect each and every person's spirit or god because we have different gods according to spirituality but the same one which is within among us all but when we are just alone is in us when it is in us we are different and when we are now together like this he become one but when i'm alone it's my own so that is you have to respect and the most important thing is you have to listen carefully before judging anything because people, so many people have judged so many things oh they listen oh muganga muganga i'm not afraid to say that to say no are you muganga all this story? so what is the meaning because of lack of knowledge that's why you are taking muganga as a negative stuff so when you are a muganga you are a, you are a, you are a doctor as i'm a doctor in kiswahili muganga ni daktari yeah so those who don't don't uh, understand kiswahili and you want to fikir ya muganga ni negative ukienda huko Tanzania watakwambia mganga ni daktari eh so i'm a witch doctor also and i'm also a spiritualist and i also do i do many things in a polite way <laughs> so i also remove whatever people have put in you eh ida ziko kwa mtumbo yako these things that makes you not to move with your life kuna watu and nango kana kufunga na mambo mingi kwa maisha yako but we just continue living in blood of jesus blood of jesus cannot remove what somebody has dig in underground akikufunga my friend akifunga nywele yako you cannot even survive mtu akikuja akafunga slippers yako what will you do nothing mtu akikuja na kunyoa usiku wewe una think mtu wenye alikusonga alikunyoa unaangalia hivyo unapata kama kuna kipara huko wewe unafikiri in something just fishy my friend these people are doing people mtu anakuja na funga aina ya yako wanafunga vizuri alafu nasema blood of jesus will wash it away if you don't remove that thing my friend nobody nothing will judge because ukifungwa hivi alafu kuja uombewe before ufunguliwe hata maji kales is a black magic yenye nakufanya ifunguliwe but if somebody are not untie you again and you run you cannot be untied na unasimama pale bado utafungwa then you run to your life then you change your life that that's where the how deliverance is that's where it seems so many people are stuck in churches wanafunguliwa they still remaining the place where mefunguliwa you want to get delivered you have to move and change your life practically mind also you have to change the thinking and the mind get out from where you, you are try to move make a step to that place that is the form of deliverance how it works but we do the same deliverance is only that different perception and a, a different concept yeah.